Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Merry Christmas. Today is December 25th. It is Christmas and we are going to have our little Gervin Christmas. And somebody is already awake and already wants me to go play with their toys they got from, hold on baby, <laughs> from Christmas with my family. We actually don't have all of the Christmas presents underneath the tree. We don't have Cade's Christmas presents under the tree because it's wrapped in car wrapping paper and uh, he would get to it and puncture it and open them early. So I'm gonna go put them under the tree right now and then we're gonna open them. And with that, I think I can say Merry Christmas. Do you see your new ornament right there? You got that one from Grammy. Yeah. Oh, don't pull it off the tree. Don't pull it off the tree. Oh, or get chocolate on it. <laughs> huh? Whoa. Whoa, is there another new one? Man, nothing gets past you, huh? Do you want to open your stocking first? No. no. Oh. Uh, yes, you do. Are you stuck? Wow. Are you stuck? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay, can you open it? Oh. 
big construction yard. Truff, tough truck friends are working hard. Today's big job is done at last, and Christmas Eve is coming fast. But how will big trucks celebrate? Each one is planning something great. Here comes Flatbed. Can you lift it? And skid steer with a load of Christmas cheer. Construction site is looking fine with garlands, gifts, and things that shine. But big trucks know true Christmas cheer is in the joy of good friends near. A time to gather, give, and share. A season filled with love and care. Construction site, merry and bright. Merry Christmas and shh. Good night. from taking a walk and going to the park. That's like across the street and a couple streets over. Cade loved it, <laughs> um, but he's tuckered out right now. So Rob and him are watching Netflix and I wanted to take the time to look through a couple of cookbooks that I got for Christmas. I had a feeling I was gonna be getting this one, but then Rob surprised me with this one. So I have cookbooks <laughs> to look through and it's nice because we were joking when I opened them. I was like, wow, now I have some cookbooks that aren't from the 80s, <laughs> which don't get me wrong. I love those cookbooks and there are some really great recipes that I just love, but I wanted some up-to-date ones, specifically the Pioneer Woman. I would love to get like all of her cookbooks, but they are expensive. I mean, $30 is pretty dang expensive. So, um, eventually, eventually, we'll see if my collection can grow. But yeah, so Rob got me two cookbooks, a cup, which I got one from my mom, but it's nice to have two, right? And then he also got me a cheese grater which is really nice because I have been, we've been using like this one from Ikea that has like a bucket and you like shred it and it falls into the bucket, but like, and that's nice when I need to use the bucket, but when I don't need to use the bucket, a handheld one would be nicer. So he got me one of these, I'm super excited about that. He got me a couple of batteries and I got a mini crock pot, but I was allowed to open one battery in the crock pot early. so. I'm so excited. So, um, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm really thankful for everything that he got. He's a really good gift giver and I'm a terrible gift giver. <sighs> I'm just really bad at it. So I'm very, very grateful for the things that he gave me and thankful. I'm going to look through these while Cade and Rob are watching TV before nap time.
even started looking through Pioneer Woman's. I can just open it to like the first page and just like, oh, all of her stuff is so beautifully pictured. And her cookbook is just, her cookbooks are just full of pictures. And like this looks amazing. Also, it does not help that I'm slightly hungry. Mm. So colorful and bright. Just every page has a picture or five, and it's amazing. right here because there's just so many amazing things is it gonna go down the slide no what what honey I can't go down the slide <laughs> mommy's too big for the slide are you gonna go down the slide whoa <laughs> oh, is it hot? Did you make it all for you? Hot. <laughs> okay, so now it's my turn to cook. Cade is in bed and I have like an hour or so to make our very own Christmas dinner. Um, this year was Rob and I's and Cade's, of course, first Christmas by ourselves. The past years, we've been spending Christmas with at least my family. Um, but anyway, enough about that. For the food, for our little Christmas dinner, I made buttered tilapia, potato bites, shrimp, and green beans. I know it's a little unusual as a Christmas dinner, but it's kind of a tradition that I had with my family, and it's one that I really wanted to pass on to my own little family. So I started off by preparing the potato bites by chopping potatoes into small-ish sized pieces, you know, bite-sized pieces, I guess, and tossing them on a pan with some oil, some smoked salt, and some pepper. And I tossed it long enough to make sure that all of the pieces of the potatoes were covered with the oil, salt, and pepper. So then I moved on to the buttered tilapia. So I prepared a glass bread pan with some butter at the bottom. And then I layered on a couple pieces of the fish on top of that butter. And then on top of the tilapia, I put some more butter. <laughs> if you see a theme here, there's a reason why it's called buttered tilapia. Um, and then I had one last piece of fish that I needed to put on top of the other two pieces of fish and then of course more butter wouldn't you know this time when I made this dish I actually decided to add some green onion I've never done that before and Rob said he couldn't tell a difference from the other times when I hadn't but when I tasted it I could tell all of the difference in the world of course I did eat some green onions with the tilapia at the same time um, so maybe that helped my enhancement of the flavor but I thought it was amazing and I'm going to do that every time from now on. So once I had the fish and the potatoes in the oven I pulled out the shrimp from the freezer to thaw it in some water um, and then I got started on the green beans so I used just a can of green beans and then half of a very small onion chopped up and then I let it come to a boil. Once the fish and potatoes were done cooking in the oven, everything was ready to go. And this was such a quick and easy meal to make, especially for a Christmas dinner. I would highly recommend it. All right, dinner is ready. This is my first Christmas dinner that I've gotten to make ever well aside from my family coming over and we having like an early christmas feast this is the first like immediate family christmas dinner i've ever made on christmas and i would say it looks really good hi baba can you get daddy say daddy it's ready 
So we have buttered tilapia, potato bites, <coughs> shrimp, and green beans. Dinner is served. Let's dig in. Okay, I'll set the timer really quick. Can we pray? Everybody? Can you pray? Thank you, dear God, thank you for this food. Thank you for moving from me. Jesus, thank you for Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Okay. Okay, so dinner was amazing, but right now I am prepping some sugar cookie dough because we want to make Christmas cookies that are like, you know, you do the cutout things. So like, here's a holly leaf. Um, I've been wanting to do these all season, but I haven't had the gumption. And so we're doing it today, Christmas day. We have to do it. So um, it is like, 6 30 we have like an hour and a half until bub's bedtime so i think this will be a good um activity before bed it'll tucker him out hopefully okay kato look you ready can you push it down and then, oh, look at that. No, 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 leave it there, leave it there. Okay. <laughs> Is it good? All right, first taste test of the night. <laughs> oh, is it good? Was it worth it? Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas, Bubba. Merry Christmas. Can you say Merry Christmas? Good. Good job. Love you. All right, the cookies are cooked and baked. Cade is now in bed and I am going to decorate these cookies. So this was our Christmas, our very first Christmas away from our parents, away from our family, away from our friends. We were very much, very, very much on our own this year and a little sad. That's okay. Making it work by ourselves, right? Um, just since we live so far away from home, that's why we were without everybody and it's just different and we'll probably just have to get used to it but other than being away from our home and our family and our friends i think today christmas by ourselves for the first time went went fairly well i'm gonna finish decorating these cookies i'm gonna end this vlog so thank you guys so much for hanging out with us on our Christmas. I know you'll be seeing this after Christmas for like a week after. Um, but nonetheless, thank you guys so much for watching. Merry Christmas and 
again. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.